What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode. Uh, it's loud, it's raining outside, nothing I can do. I uh, just left the vet with little Baxter here. He has a uh, big tumor of some sort on his shoulder. He's been licking it a lot down to the skin. And uh, I took him to a place over here in Fremont, Texas, uh, Wilkinson's Veterinarian. They've uh, done all the stuff on mom and dad's dogs in the past and stuff and been really good with them. So I, I took him in and uh, of course when there's a big lump or a tumor on him, the first thing I thought of was, I sure hope it's not cancer. Now keep in mind, Baxter is a uh, just a little pound puppy that's over 10 years old and he's not a young buck anymore. And overall he's doing really good. It doesn't seem to hurt him. But yeah, it just looks, uh, it's just raw and it's it's very big on his side. And we've been spraying uh, some wound spray on it to help keep it clean and help him not want to lick it and stuff. But you know dogs, if they can reach it, they're gonna try to lick it. So uh, once again, I apologize if it's, if it's loud, the rain's starting to pick up, but uh, I'm trying to keep a hoodie on him. That's why I told the doctor there. I said I've had a hoodie on him last week. Cause it's been cold, so it's helping him not lick it as much, but there's only so much you can stop a dog. They, they'll move their little hoodies around and stuff and start licking it again. But uh, I I asked the doctor, I just said, uh, or I told him, I said, I think it may be a cyst or like a boil type thing. And he looked at it and squeezed and stuff. He says he does not think it's that because if it was a boil or a cyst, he said it would be squishy. And uh, this is not squishy, it's real hard. And uh, it's just swollen. It looks like he almost has, I guess the closest thing I can say is almost a golf ball size lump on his shoulder. And uh, like I said, he, he doesn't seem like he's in pain. He runs around with the dogs, everything's normal. And uh, I brought him inside today because I knew I was taking him to the vet. So I, I gave him a bath and was uh, cleaning up all around the, uh, the bump and stuff. And, uh, he didn't seem to mind on it. It's just, it's very, very hard. And it, it just, it, it looks kind of bad, but it's it's nothing that's hurting him. So uh, I have an appointment to go back on Friday morning at eight. They're gonna do surgery on him, cut him open and uh, try to take whatever it is out. And then they're gonna send it off to get tested to see if it is cancer or not. So I, I really hope it's not. And I hope if it is, they were able to get everything out of him, but I don't know, just kind of worries you when he said that. I was just like, no, because in the past, I don't know if y'all knew this or not, uh, when Jason and I lived together in Louisville, Texas, uh, we had adopted a dog. His name was Baxter, the original Baxter. It was a big uh, Rottweiler and Dalmatian mix, and he had cancer, big cancer lumps on him. Now, his looked a little bit different than this one, but he did have cancerous lumps and he had multiple on him. And uh, he was an old dog as well. That dog was probably 15 or so. So he was already on his last last leg whenever we adopted him. And uh, we gave him a good life. And uh, there was one day where I got home from work, I believe, and I went to the kitchen and Baxter, the original Baxter, he was laying on the floor and uh, just couldn't get up. And I just said, I gotta take him to the vet. It's not looking good. And uh, it's, same thing that most people do like they if it's something serious they take their dog in and you hope for the best and by the time I got there they just said it's not looking good that they were gonna have to euthanize uh, the dog and of course I got all upset I'd only had the dog I don't know I think we had him maybe a year or so and uh, I was attached to him and I said well before we euthanize let me go back there and hug on him and just tell him goodbye and uh, it was bad I don't like when animals die I get all like emotional and stuff and uh, basically I went back there and said my goodbyes and hugged on him and he passed away in my arms and I said well at least he he knew I was by his side he was able to to, to go on to a better place and stuff and I really hope it's nothing serious with him like Brent, like I said Baxter feels fine from what I can see he looks and seems fine other than the big uh, lump on his side so y'all give him some well wishes I know Baxter is one of the fan favorites on my channel as far as the animals go uh pretty sure they y'all like him the most out of the three dogs and uh, I don't know he seemed to do okay in there they weighed him they took his temperature and all that his temperature was okay uh, his weight was 16 and a half pounds he's a chunky little chihuahua mix and uh, 
I don't know, just send him y'all's well wishes and I'll update you guys on Friday whenever he gets out of surgery and I'm bringing him back. They said it should be, uh, Tremont's about 30 minutes uh, west of Rivera, so I'll have to get up early on Friday, bring him over, drop him off at 8 o'clock and let them do surgery and then come back later in, the, in that day and bring him home and see how he does, but uh, they just said just keep an eye on him. Make sure he tries to not lick it as much as possible until then. Uh, the doctor didn't seem like he was, I don't know, too I don't know, shocked when he saw it. Uh, like I said, it's, it's a big lump for a little dog, and he has been licking it, so it is, it's a raw wound on here. And, uh, like I said, we have it cleaned up. I gave him a bath and all the good stuff. He gave him medicine, and uh, we're going to try to get this out of him, whatever it is. I noticed a little tiny lump on him a while back and it it was just a tiny lump and then over like the last two months it just gradually started getting bigger slowly and uh, I've had other dogs like I said uh, we had the original Baxter he ended up passing away from cancer but uh, Daisy had a big lump on her neck when I lived in Terrell and uh, I wasn't sure if she got bit by a snake or if it was some kind of a uh, I don't even know some kind of boil or something but hers ended up uh, getting to a little point and it busted open and started this is kind of gross but it had pus and blood and stuff coming out so I cleaned her up real good made sure it was all drained real nice and uh, cleaned her up and then she was good to go after that but uh, this one just has me worried Baxter's my little my little dude I've had it the longest now and uh, he's one of the only dogs that will actually go in my truck Daisy and Tucker hate going for car rides uh, they like being outdoors running and stuff but the, they just do not like getting in, in vehicles and Baxter doesn't mind he'll uh before I turned on the camera he was going from back seat to front seat as the navigator like he always does when we go on road trips anywhere he uh likes to stand on the armrest in the middle and look around and just uh see what's going on in his neck of the woods so I guess I could have stayed on the highway. I haven't been in this part of South Texas in a while. I'm on 281 between Premont and Falfurious. Falfurious. And, uh, yeah, so here in a bit I'll be going through Fal and then heading back home, like I said, about 30 minutes or so. I'll give Baxter a couple of treats when I get home, uh, make sure he gets a good rest, and then they just said no, no food or water uh, after midnight on Thursday, so... I don't know. I'm a little worried. I'm not gonna lie. I, like I said, I, it's my baby boy, so don't want nothing happening to him. So I'm gonna get off here before I get emotional because if they happen to say that's cancer, woo woo, you're gonna see a 38 year old with some teary eyes. So whew, wish me luck. Hopefully it's nothing and they get it all out and it, he lives a good long life and it's nothing too serious. So, anyways, felt like I need to update you guys on that. It's gonna be raining the next couple days nonstop, so I won't be doing any videos that I know of. I don't have anything planned as far as building or anything, but uh, as far as the tiny house goes, I think we're going to start on it on Monday, so stay tuned for that, and like I said, uh, I'll be keeping an eye on him today, and then we'll see what happens on Friday, and hopefully his surgery goes good, so appreciate you guys for watching. Wish him well. He's right here. We'll see if he can get up here real quick for you guys. Come here. It's a good boy. Uh, Y'all probably can't see him. There he is, but anyways, like I said, he's He's doing okay. He's got his little sweater on and uh, just wish little boy good luck. So anyways, appreciate y'all for watching and we'll catch you on the next one. Peace. Bye guys.